Welcome to another episode of Is Feminism Trash? Today we're talking about workplace sexism, harassment in the workplace, and misogyny generally. Okay, so in our last episode, um, we said we're going to share a document, a Google form, for you, our viewers, to share your experiences in relation to sexual harassment in your workplace. And we have with us here a guest that will be sharing our experience also with us. So please introduce yourself, Mo. Hi. Hi, my name is Omolade Marquis. I'm a media, I have some media consultant, or like I do everything video, anything creative, video directing, movie filmmaking. Um, what else? I, I'm also <laughs> a tech interior. I also, I'm also a tech person. I do UI UX design, oh, okay. and um, moving gradually to AI. Oh, wow, wonderful! Yeah, thank you. Welcome to our. Okay, so you work in um, a male dominated field. Yeah. So we would like you to share your experience um, as regards sexism and how you've been able to deal with it. <laughs> um in the media world, we yeah, there, there are a lot of females there, but when it comes to the technical side, and I work mainly in the technical side, okay. the ratio of male to female is not balanced in every um like in the crew sets, okay. I work mainly with crew behind the cameras and the like. Mm. You have like a ratio of eight to two, mm. and it, or even ten to zero. Wow. Even nine to one. You rarely see a six to five or a seven to three. So um, <laughs> it's not easy because you have to show yourself twice as good. Mm. Now, when they see a man and. Um, they say, oh, I'm starting my geography day. So, oh, no worries. Like, you can go and start shooting. You can go and start doing this thing. You can pick up every equipment and this thing. But when you say lady, they're like, are you sure you know what you're doing? Are you sure you can pick every equipment? Like, are you gymming or stuff like that? So you have to show yourself, like, you're, you're always like, I want to do this. I want to do this. Let me let me be the one holding the camera. And don't tell me that I should go and be bringing lens. Most times, the red females, personal assistant, production <laughs> yeah. managers, that they are the one that do all the oh let's write oh we are looking for um where to shoot. We are going for recce. Okay. We are in welfare or stuff. <laughs> and well, so well, like me, I love technical. I love like I love being in places that ladies are not really. Yeah, like I studied human anatomy when I was school. I wanted to become a medical doctor at the side. <laughs> <laughs> and when I, I wanted to become a neuroscientist, I didn't want to go for a normal G, um, um, gynecology or pediatrician. Yeah. I see majorly females there. I wanted to go for places that I know I can tell women I know this is not only for guys. You yes. too can become a neuroscientist, yeah. you can become a neurosurgeon. Yeah. So I wanted to, I, I had to be part of the crew, not. An editor, not just someone that works behind the scene. I wanted to be, I want to be where the action is, mm -hmm. anything like that, where the action is. So you have to work twice as hard as a man before they can even recognize you. Like when I'm in a music video scene and I'm like, oh, I'll carry the running. Running is actually very heavy. Okay. It's cameras and it's actually very heavy. So if you are not being strong, okay. so you will feel it. You really feel, and when you are carrying it, a guy wants to come and support you, and I'm like, guy, I can carry this thing, leave me alone. <laughs> let me carry this thing, and, and then, oh, let me carry, let me help you, let me do this. Now, to the guys, they feel, yes, they are trying to help you, because they feel women are weak, or women are very fragile, so they're like, oh, let me come and assist you, <clears throat> so you don't feel. I'm like, I chose this profession for myself. I knew the risks, I knew. What is what, what is all about the fight started it. Mm -hmm. So I know that I have to carry every equipment. I have to carry this, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to jump, I have to run, I have to do this. And, and I chose to do it. So let me do what I want to do. Yeah. And that's why um you don't see a lot of women going into it. Because you want to carry a camera, you want to do this, a guy is like coming, you're like, Am I sure this is where I'm meant to be? Am mm -hmm. I sure this, like you're on a set, you're like, uh, when you're talking about, oh, you want to buy food, oh, go and meet this lady, hmm. go and meet this person, hmm. go and meet this. Like, they don't really say, go and meet this guy, go and meet this yeah. girl, go and meet. But when it comes to, oh, meet this guy, meet this girl, meet this guy, and guys know how to form this car cause, like, yeah. they easily call themselves. And if you're a lady in a crew, they rarely call you, except you, like, force yourself hmm. into it. So, yeah, I have 
Over the years, I have to do a lot of forcing myself into every circle I find myself. I have to do stuff that, like, <laughs> I can remember my journey, like, I have to stay in places that you will not really see a normal girl stay there. Like, I remember when we were working in one production house, we had to sleep, all of us, all together on the floor, yeah. eat together and everything. You're not saying a normal lady there, fit into there. So I had to do those stuff so that those guys could accept me. That, oh, okay, this is one of us. And that has been my journey. I always, every step I find myself in, when I'm moving to the next level, I always have to force myself. I had to do, like, twice that. Like, I had to always demand that I want to do this thing. For a guy, you don't need to demand it. They will call you to come and mm. do it. For a lady, mm. you have to demand that, oh, I need to do this thing to show that I can do it. Yeah. So they, in the media industry, they usually box ladies. It's not something that is really free for ladies to, like, do, express themselves, in, um, express themselves freely. That's why I see most of the directors are ladies. Mm. You don't really see... Uh, the, um, the technical, um, you don't even see ladies in technical aspects. Like, if they're like, they set I've gone to, their places I've gone to, I'm like the only female. And you start hearing comment that, ah, no, you see, you're crazy. I'm like, <laughs> 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 like, like, this is the, this is the job. So I should be able, you should even be worried if I can't carry it. Mm. But I'm doing it, so I should be able to carry it. You're like, you be hearing comment that, Oh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, the first oh. guys, these are things that like push ladies out of this industry. So it has been a lot of doing a lot, doing a lot of things. Like, let's even use an example. Let's look at the music industry for an example. You see, it's a male dominated industry, forget it. And but when we are growing up, you see a lot of ladies in the choir, you really see guys yes. in the choir. Yes. So you should believe that the music industry is meant to be a yes. female dominated industry, but it's a male dominated industry for you to be recognized. You have to talk twice that, and you have to be very good for you to be recognized. Can you think of any time where so maybe somebody said something or like an action that really, really made you feel very bad? And you maybe almost yes. lost it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So the thing is that um, over time I've built a very thick skin. So and I have stayed in I've stayed in lots with guys. So there are some things that I just I'll just do I'll just start to bant when they do something, I just start to bant because I know myself I'm very short tempered. And when I say some things, it's after when I've when I've read, like when I've said everything, I just come out and this was not necessary, this question was not worth my time. So I've like built that whole defense system against myself so you really get to me but there are sometimes that you just look like this don't like i have to constant like i've been like i have to constantly tell guy okay, alpha come be where you have shoot i've got like when when um does this group i was in where do you stop uh, i worked with some so we had a crew like with three four editors we shoot and everything um, we should, and then we get me. I was like, oh, guy, you should miss video. I want to go into the video space. Call me when you have video. Like, oh, I'm always like, then call me. And there's this other guy that is even the one call, if you call the guy, they'll shoot together. I'm like, I'm, I'm not saying you should pay me. I just yeah. want to gain the knowledge. Mm. Can you just call me? Let me be on set. And it's like, I find myself begging people. Mm. But if it's a guy, you know, guys, yeah, now, there's guys, way they yes, talk, yeah. alpha, sharp, sharp. They come. And I'm like, I'm not calling you to call me. And it got to me to a point I was like, am I sure this is the field I'm meant to be? Should I change my field? Should I start looking? That's when I started looking into tech. That should I dive into tech? Because if you need to build a portfolio for people to know you. Yes. You understand? You can't just be in your house and say, oh, I'm a cinematographer, yeah. I'm an editor. You need to build a portfolio for people to know you. So I'm like, oh, I just want to see how, like, I, I can learn from what you are doing. Oh, this is how you do your lighting. This is how you do you set your cameras. This is how to use this camera. Because I'm not privy to having all the cameras to shoot with. But when I come to your set, you're using a Sony, you're using a Canon, you're using a Red. I know that I can touch different cameras with different shoots I go to. So I always find myself always begging, guy, yeah, Alpha now. Like, you say a lot of me, ah, oh, guy, Alpha, just call me. For it's not like I'm asking for money. Mm-hmm. So, like, just call me. So, you constantly have to, like, I don't want to say beg guys to like help you promote your Disney, but it, that's why I say you need to force yourself. But when you now become like you now do something on your own and it's mad and it goes viral, it's not easy yeah. because if you oh, okay, she knows what she's doing, mm. 
to now start calling, oh, get babes, I'm doing something, and they start calling you for jobs and everything. But before you get, get to that get point it, yeah. of which they start calling you freely, mm-hmm. you have to grant extra ads as a lead. That's not easy. It's not easy, but it's worth it because it's passion. <laughs> like, okay. For example, you mentioned there was a time you had to sleep with um, men. <laughs> Have you ever been like sexually harassed or anything in that particular <laughs> setting? Or you know, so the way I do myself, everybody knows me. <laughs> <laughs> so no, so even comes sexual um, sexual harassment, I've actually not have like I can't remember once. Oh. Am I? <laughs> the only thing I, I can remember is like a rumor. Okay. It is not like physical this okay. thing. Yes. And remember, like there was a time where yeah, so so said Harry remember that uh, me that me I like one guy that um uh, that was rumor that I was always calling the guy, begging the guy uh-uh. and <laughs> I, I had to call me the guy that guy went like oh, <laughs> No like I had to I, no I had to call the guy in front of everybody. I was like guy when I call you mm. and then they tell me that I call you that when I, I call you oh, God. Like, oh, I, had to, I had to like claim me. that when I so and the way I have um as, as I said I've built a thick skin and mm. the way uh you know guys they easily turn things to bands. Yeah, they easily yeah, yeah. about everything. They they joke about everything. So I think I've got to that stage that whenever we just ban, we just talk, grab just ourselves and that's it. You understand? So I've got to that stage because people see me as someone that only oh, have can't. serious conversations. Yeah, yeah. Me, I hate so, the fact so that I'm so full. I'm, I'm like, so, people, no, people, <laughs> it annoys me. That, 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 that's 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 what that's what everybody thinks. They feel is onto like the way I, and my face betrays me. Like, if I'm having a conversation with me, I look at my face. You can easily tell if I'm interested or you're saying trash. <laughs> Even if I don't want to, like, annoy you, like, yeah. I, I'll walk away. But my face will, like, my face will tell you that um, you're saying trash. Yeah, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, a lot of people, so, I, it, I've, I've seen cases that a lot of people, come, when they have that crazy answer, they're like, Oh, so you're this open. So, oh, you're this phone. So oh, you're this relatable. Hey guys, welcome to Jero Kuto. At Jero Kuto, we are beyond a fashion brand. We are out to make a fashion statement for every lady out there in the corporate world. We bring to you mild yet sophisticated in decent outfits that you can wear to work and still feel very African in it and still make your fashion statement. At Jeroko Top, we are providing one, premium African prints, two, we are providing luxurious ready to wear fashion brand, three, we are providing decent yet elegant wears. And four, we are providing the African standard measurement as against the European or the Asian standard measurements for the African woman. We are beyond the fashion brand. We are all about making a fashion statement that says, as you're European and proud, or even Asian and proud, we are equally African and proud. for sharing with us so we actually sent out um, a google form and we got some responses where people shared their experiences with workplace sexual harassment so i want to read out some of those um some of their answers and like you like to hear your opinion on it okay okay so this came up more than once like three times this person said this is sexism actually not even harassment so she says guys expecting girls to be in charge of food at every workplace. <laughs> also, she described, she didn't really give an explanation of how she ended. She just said, not well, but that real occurred. So, what the hell? <laughs> you know, like I said, in the media industry, so they find out that most of these producer work, um, produ- production assistant, production manager, mm-hmm. and the likes, you find that it's mostly occupied by female. So, you know, I said, when I first started, the uh, balance was like, Eight two. Yeah. The eight two. It's two females they are seeing are working as production assistant, not that they're working as the core crew. Mm-hmm. You understand? So uh, I, I I don't know, but I think 
um, this boils down to the mentality everybody have. You feel where you see a woman, she's meant to be only, she's meant to be this, she's meant to be that. So in a workplace, egg me food. You should ensure yeah, that it's the lady yeah. that she want serve the food you expect that it's the lady that's meant to do this is the lady that's meant to do that so the advice i'll give those ladies is that they stand their foot them their feet oh down right they stand their ground and no i can't if they're telling you like it is that you know it's out of the food <laughs> no it takes like yeah, yeah, yeah. they won't bring it up to you i tell people whenever you get to a place make sure you you create a standard for yourself yes. what you know you can't take don't start That's it, it. Mm-hmm. Yes. at all Mm-hmm. Don't start it at all. Like, oh, okay. Um, you get to a place, you're arranging the place, you're doing stuff. Everybody has that mentality about you that, oh, if you want to arrange something, it's you though that will come to their mind. Yeah. And I and what going on, you start like I don't see you once for like cut yeah. scenes, not like so what you can't take. Do, like some ladies, they don't say anything bad in it. They even like it. They should yes. be in charge of food. Good for them. Bravo. I don't say anything bad in it. But I can't do it. So, I, it is that I will not eat out of the food. I won't eat out of the food. Mm. I, th- I can't do this. This is not why, this is not why they are paying me. Yeah. It's not this. You set your you set your standard that I can't do this. If it's to excuse yourself from that guy, you please excuse yourself. I want you to do it once, twice. People start expecting. Yeah. People start unconsciously yeah. abiding by what you stand mm-hmm. because when you're thinking about cutting cake you'd be like ah this babe she'd not be the last time you won't think about her uh, the following time so yeah. stand stand your ground thank you very much oh, this is harassment my boss acting up and being hostile because i refuse the sexual advances sometimes even emotional abuse with words and undermining my impute she described it how she handled it she said well most times i just ignore and get on Sometimes I stand my ground, even though I need the tough way to go, and sometimes I call in out on it. And she said she got suspended and punished for speaking out. She eventually left the job even when I had no other job offer. So now, for that, what I advise people to do for that type of situation? Now, you get a job. You have, okay, let's say um, the job is about knitting. You know how to knit. You get the job. Yeah, yeah, good. If you start saying stuff like that, make yourself become and become a valuable um, distance, a valuable worker to the organization, a worker they can't let go. When you are invaluable to a company, like you are, you are someone that the bosses need. Like you become, you position yourself that like despite your power that you can't do without. You know there are some strong odds that need that companies need to run. What if you are just like entry level? You are yeah, just, just like entry level. level. Now, the best thing everybody will do is leave the job. Yeah. yeah. But it's not easy mm. being jobless in Nigeria. It's not. Our advice. That's why I say me personally. Go out, give the person. I'll give the person. Become better at what you do. Have additional skills. When you have, when you start seeing stuff like. Um, this sexual harassment, start adding to your skills and start sending your, your CVs out. Start sending your CVs out. Start, start searching. Start <laughs> searching. <laughs> because, like this babe, she left that job without having another option. She should have started sending her CVs out. Maybe she did. Even getting a job in this country. Even, no, yeah. see, that's, that's it. See, don't see. They're not, see, you feel there are no jobs, but there are jobs. But people are not ready to get the skills needed for the jobs. There are lots of jobs. See, okay, see, the, we all know that the world is going, uh, is all facing tech. Everything you do is tech related. <laughs> now, you don't need to code to be in the tech yeah. industry. That's what many people get wrong. You don't need to code. There is business management. There's, uh, what do you call it? Um, agile supervisors. You have supervisors in the tech industry. And the funniest thing people know is that they even get paid. What are the actual coders? Those people that supervise them. And they may not know jack about coding. But they supervise the project from start to finish. There are skills out there. Don't relax. See, Nigeria is not a place where you rely on your certificates. I graduated since 2015. I've not collected my certificates. Nigeria is not a place where, not even only Nigeria, the world, Google, Google, Apple, they don't care if you, don't, if you went to school or not. As long as you can get a job done, they will employ you. They don't care if you have a certificate again. They don't care about college degree. Like, okay, I know a woman. Um, this um the founder of Investment Care. Investment Care is one of the 
um, biggest VC companies in, Niger- in Africa, in Nigeria. They invested in Bamboo, they invested in Curry Rice, in um, so many, uh, Piggy Vest. They have invested like $10 million, $10 million and they're like, and this woman, she's a data and she said, what she left school? She was trying to get jobs, she was not seeing jobs because what she wanted, they had more meals there and they were passing her on to them um, to go to the meals. Like they preferred taking the meals than actually taking them because she had not proven herself. Mm-hmm. And when she wasn't getting jobs, she went to start her own ingressive capital. Yeah. And now ingressive capital is one of the major VC companies in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. If they are, they, they even invest they even invested in Paystack. It's one of the biggest investments um VC companies in Nigeria and is owned by that lady. And now most of our most of our members, most of the people that work with our ladies. Now in that type of in that type of organization, you you rarely see sexual harassment because they are able to push policies that work that favors women and men too. You understand? Like see this girl that is sex for great, or they know the son that have passed on. If a lady just come and, and um, go and report that lecturer to the school board. It's something they may not have been taking action on. But that lady rose up to the challenge and exposed the man. And finally, they actually um, yeah, sacked the, the man. Yeah. Now, see what the lady had to go. Even during the sex for grade, the man was doing some things that she didn't like. Was grabbing, there was a point she said, the man grabbed her butt. Yes. But, it had, but actually, the, the end cause, they sacked the man. So the man can't do it to other female students. So there are people that we have to work harder to ensure the ladies. So the ladies coming don't have to work harder. They, they, they work in a balanced um, environment, in a, in a women-friendly environment, in a male-friendly environment. Okay, so um, I have one last question. Okay. And it is how men can do better because we can't keep creating spaces we can't keep uh, moving jobs we can't keep moving away from our lives yeah. and just we just need men to do better so how do you think men can like do better i feel um so uh, mostly it has to do with um how i'm trying to look at how to structure it but i feel basically the foundation of everything boils down to family now, it's honors on parents to teach their male child to do better. And you should stop this stupid mentality. I call it a very, very stupid mentality of when we say a man cheats, it's like, he's a man. <laughs> he can cheat. Ah. When you say a man cheats, ah, he's a man. Ah. So, me, if I can cheat, you can say he's a woman now. It's not like I'm saying women to cheat, but we, we have this stupid ideology that men can go, can get away with a lot of things. A lot of rubbish. Yes. Not a lot of things, a lot of rubbish. <laughs> there are lots of rubbish men yeah. do what they have. So we need to start changing that mindset. Now, it may not be easy to change it in this our generation. Mm-hmm. It may not be easy because it's going to be a very, very long fight. Yes, we can do our own. Yeah. And we get little, little results. Little, little results are long run because of big results. But, but it's a long, stressful, st- um, mentally draining fight. And I come back to the media industry. The media industry should stop doing stupid films that encourages men yeah. that they can cheat and go away with it. Mm-hmm. Now, I was I was talking to a friend. I was like, most of these things that I believe in, most of it are film driven. Yes. Yeah. And now that I cannot keep a cut. Now it's not because of my <laughs> yeah, well, cut. But it's because of all so the films I watch. Yes. All right, yeah, show go. All those photo. You yes. see that cuts are being so. Yes. Any small the way you say cut, you be like, ha. Is that just, like, <laughs> let me give you an example. Some of my friends they were driving. Okay. So there was a cut that sat in the middle of the road, and so they killed the cut mistakenly. Okay. And the nurse is there praying that ah, <laughs> oh, oh my god, no, oh it's god. funny. <laughs> I mean, it may be spiritual, it may not, but yeah. as a Nigerian, yeah, that's the first you thing go like spiritual yes. first. Like they'll tell you, a man must always have three vices, like three vices, yeah. either of three vices. He likes smoke, it's drink, or humanize. That you will always oh, see dear. a guy must always have one yes. of, of those devices. You, you oh, either so drink, you smoke, or humanize. Humanize. So we need to start getting rid of those ideologies when bringing up 
children. And in your workplace, that like if you know you are ready to fight, there are organizations that you can report to and they can fight these things for you. Yes. When you know you are ready, but a lot of ladies are not ready. Yeah. And I don't blame them. Of course. Yes, yes. I don't blame them. Because number one, because they don't know the response they will get. Yeah. And it's easy for a woman to be um victimized. Like she be no, I would like to know the men become the victim of yeah. it's easy for a woman to ask I can't they start analyzing the story. Yes. Show me that. Why did you wear short skirt? Why did you wait this Why did you wait this about? time? Why do you you want to destroy what? his career? You he has a family. Do, you understand stuff like that? We need to so a lot of men can come up or because of they don't have anywhere else to go to, they don't have family, they have family, they need money and stuff like that. So some women just like accept it, not because they want to accept it, but because of that is the only thing they can do at that point. But I feel to change, we have to, um, this, this whole thing is a matter of mindset. We need to start changing some mindset, we need to start changing some ideology that this is bullshit. This is not right. You need to start changing and start from grass, you start from the family. Thank you so much for sharing with us. We hope our viewers have learned a thing of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any concluding comments? Oh, my con- okay, my concluding comment is more like an advice or like to the society and that. Um, if you look at organizations that have women as board of directors, that have women in leadership position, there are researches that those organizations tend to do better, even in getting profits, tend to do better. Because let's let's say author coach, you have you need author coach to create more water. Yeah. So you need a male, you need female to create a sustainable environment in every work organization. Mm-hmm. So companies should also look at getting women in positions of power. Mm-hmm. Because look at let's even look at all these countries that beat coronavirus. The yes. countries that, yes. that that was like an yes. You're led by women. So I feel in every organization they should look at the fact that they should always try and look at the fact to bring women more as part of the uh, board of direction, like as part of um, decision making. Not only because they want to make profits, but also because they want the place to be conducive for both male and female. Because yes. when you have men women in power, they can make policies that for women that yeah. for women encourages women, especially in places that, that are male dominated. We need more women in power to be able to bring up females. We need more okay, when you have more women in power, you get more female role models. Yeah. yeah. That females can look up to. Now we have if you're looking at media, you have mainly male yeah. role models. Yes. If you look at almost all the industry, even in uh, even in cooking, yeah. most of the master chefs are male. Yeah. We need females in all these things so that we can raise female role models. And if we're female role models, it's easy to tell your female child to yes, move out of after yes. it's See this narrative and see what this the vice president is doing, vice president of America. She's the first yeah. female vice president. And there's a lot of ladies that say, oh, I can become a president. A lot of black children in the United States say, oh, I can become a president, I can become a vice president. Because they are seeing someone they can model after. So we need more women in every space, not just male dominated people, in every leadership board, in every aspect of life. We need females in those spaces to move forward. Thank you so much for coming on. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, please tune in next week for um, the concluding part of this series. And don't forget to comment, like, share with your friends, and Thank you very much for staying tuned with us. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>